welcome back to another review. So we're doing another one of these little like eye masks. So this is by Lux Beauty Care, which you may notice. That logo looks awfully familiar, does it not? Yeah, I googled it. It is totally part of the global beauty care thing. So GBC, it's still them. It's totally still them. Uh, this is just their premium line, even though it's exactly the same thing. But yeah, so this is their retinol hydrogel under eye pads to renew, restore, and revive. And seeing as I didn't go to bed till three something last night, I was back up again around seven something. Today seems like a good day to do some eye masks. So uh, there's this one pair in here, as is often the case with the ones I review. I think there was a way to buy a pack of five of these, but that's not the pack I have. I notice on the back it has a logo for Dollarama for a buck twenty-five. Never heard of Dollarama before. I bought these from Shop Miss A for a dollar. So, anyway. On the back, it reads, Lux Beauty Care Premium Retinol Hydrogel Under Eye Pads is an effective facial skincare therapy designed to improve the health and appearance of your skin. Our moisture-rich formula contains retinol to help minimize expression lines and wrinkles, boost cell renewal, and delay the effects of aging. Just one treatment will help repair, revitalize, and restore your skin to a healthy and younger-looking complexion. pH balanced, hypoallergenic, not tested on animals, and it's for all skin types. The ingredients list is really short. It's just water, glycerin, hamamelis virginiana extract, retinol, xanthan gum, glucomannan, collagen, betaine, algin, citric acid, potassium chloride, potassium citrate, phenoxyethanol, and iodopropanil butyl carbamate. Which sounds like a lot, but given how the ingredients lists usually look on beauty products, that's actually a fairly short list. So, to use, cleanse face and remove any makeup, open one packet, each contains two pads, apply on clean dry skin under each eye by pressing and gently, or yeah, by pressing gently and firmly. Wipe away any excess gel with a cotton pad or a tissue. Wear pads for 15 minutes for best results. Make sure to wash off all remaining residue immediately after treatment as leaving on longer can cause an allergic reaction. This is a one-time use product. Please use right after opening. Refrain from using if you have sensitive skin or are allergic to any ingredients listed in the ingredient panel. Recommended usage once a week. Well, it's just gonna be once period because I only have the one. So. <laughs> anyway, and then it has it again in French. So I like that they're blue. I'm digging that. So, ooh, all right. So they're supposed to be in the little tray, but they're just stuck to the inside of the wrapper. <laughs> so I guess I'll just, whoop, 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 all right, all right, all right, fine. They're like sticky hands. What the hell? What the hell? It doesn't even feel wet. This is not going to do shit, is it? I doubt it will. But we will give it a shot. But this literally, if you are a 90s kid and you remember sticky hands, this is the exact thing this feels like, is a sticky hand. It's so weird. It's not wet at all. It's literally just like grippy like a sticky hand. Part of me wants to attempt to throw it at the wall after and see if it sticks. I'm not going to, but the temptation is there. You know what it feels like. All right, you come on out. I see you. Come here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. That is interesting, isn't it? Again, digging the blue. Really love that shade of blue. It's basically my fave color. So I'm like, alright, I'm here for this. At least they're gripping to my face, which is more than I was expecting given how dry they feel, but... I will be honest, I am not expecting much out of these, <laughs> both between the cheap-ass price and the fact that it doesn't even feel like there's anything on them. They just feel like I'm sticking rubber on my face for no good reason. So <laughs> that's a look. That is a mood. All right. So I will go set the timer and be back in 15 minutes. And I highly doubt anything will happen, but they feel kind of nice. So whatever. Okay. Moment of truth. Did they do shit? Let's find out. Um, eh, maybe 
a little. Also, notice how, like, weird the texturing it picked up from my skin is. Like, okay, like, that was not a thing before I put them on. But on the other hand, on the other hand, does it look smoother? It does. Do the dark circles look less pronounced? Yes, they do, surprisingly, which I was not expecting it to do. Fuck all, if we're being really honest. I was up till 3 a.m. and then up again by 7. That is all the sleep I got. So I was like, you yeah, know, it's a good day to do an eye mask. But <laughs> um, It looks like it helped a little. I'll give it credit. It helped a little. In terms of things like what retinol typically helps with, though, for, like, fine lines and stuff. Uh, verdict's out on that, and given I only have one pair of them, I can't really see how they work over time, so I can't fairly say if they actually do the thing or not, but, uh, in terms of even just, like, a one-time use thing, just to help a little with looking a little more awake, it helps some. It doesn't completely fix it, especially where it didn't touch, like, bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you can see the difference between point A, point B. That, that is how much it did, but, anyway. So I guess for a dollar or so, depending where you find it, it's not the worst thing. But I cannot fairly say if it helps with, like, fighting the signs of aging or not, which is typically what a retinol thing is for. So, just being fair. Just being fair. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for this one, my dudes. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.